Hi y'all. Thanks for stopping by Design by Kathy. I am coming to you from uh, deep in the piney woods of East Texas. Uh, we had kind of an almost fall-like morning today. It was kind of, the air was a little crisp. I mean, it'll still get close to 100 today, but it felt really good this morning. So anyway, I'm glad you stopped by for today's video. It's going to be really a lot of fun and pretty cool. But I told you last time I wanted to talk to you about some things you can do with your favorite art pieces and uh, what I had done with, uh, with one of mine. So, you know, since mask are mandated most everywhere right now. I had one of my favorite pieces made into a mask. So, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, so um, I thought, well, if we must wear one, we must wear one that represents us, right? So, I did that, and also, same piece of art, um, I had an iPad uh, case made. My iPad case was just about to fall completely apart, so let me see if I can get it where, you, where it doesn't glare. No glare there, maybe. Whoop, little glare. All right, so I hope you can see that, but anyway, iPad case that says me, so anyway. The website's called Zazzle. I get nothing, nothing, nothing from it. I just thought it was something really cool that I wanted to pass along to you all. So, uh, with with Z with this website, you can upload, you can look at it, you know, like a uh, kind of a draft of it before you submit your order. Make sure everything is all lined up and the way you want it. So anyway, uh, I'll put the link below, but it is called Zazzle, and. Uh, so now let's get to pouring some paint. Okay. So I have a 16 by 20 canvas here. Uh, I've laid down a base of yellow orker. Oh, orker? Oka? Good grief. How do you say it? Anyway, I'm going to pop some bubbles. This is just a little heat gun. Uh, let's see if I can pop those aren't bubbles. I'm actually pouring over uh, a canvas that had a previous practice pour on it. So I'm going to put down just a little more of the yellow, yellow ochre here. And I'm going to be using, uh, I've got purple, beautiful purple, uh, phthalo blue, a gorgeous magenta, and then I have brown. Each of these are mixed with a, my Floetrol mixture of 80% Floetrol and 20% um, water. Um, to do this, this pour, because I want large cells. So my paint is just a little bit thicker than you would normally use for a Dutch pour or something like that, because thicker paint is going to create larger cells. I'm going to put just a little dab of this brown with the, uh, this has the silicone. I'm going to put just a little swizzle right in between each color. And then I'm going to go with the magenta.
another little drizzle of the brown with the silicone. And the phthalo blue. Okay, magenta. And then I'm going to top it off with the phthalo blue my last layer. sure I have everything out of the way. Alright, so I'm going to blow this out a little bit first before we start to spin. get untangled here. Uh. Okay, and now we're going to spin. My spinner, uh, as you know, you sit in the others, this board is really too heavy, so it's a lot of manual labor, but it gets the job done. So, you know, we're going to go with it. So let's start our spin. I'm going to use a little bit of this is the known as the world's smallest uh, blower. So I'm going to see if we can blow out a little bit of the center. I just love that little gadget. Um, I've got a link uh, below uh, for it. I think it's just so cool. Okay, I'm going to spin a little bit more here. Oh, 
plastic has kind of gotten out of whack there. Okay, we got some ginormous, definitely some ginormous, gorgeous cells in here. Uh, still see these little things that didn't dissolve. Oh, yeah, some super, super love those cells. And I really like using the yellow ochre uh, behind it and let those raise up through the cells. I like that look. I like the, I like the color. Uh, super happy with that. Then it goes into cleaning off your <clears throat> turntable. Uh, it's not too bad. The turntable, uh, you get paint stuck in it. It's a little, little contrary to get cleaned out, but it can be. So don't, no worries about that. And I'll make sure I've got all the edges tidied up. But there you have it. Just a little blow and spin. Uh, create some really big, lovely cells. Uh, be sure to check the link for the world's smallest blower. It's a pretty handy little deal. It runs off uh, USB. <clears throat> it's pretty nifty, pretty handy. Anyway, I want to thank you for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribers, I appreciate you so much. If you're new to Design by Kathy, I hope that you will uh, subscribe as well. And hey, don't forget to leave a comment and share. Have a good day.